Alright guys, I am here for my 2015, or end of 2015, bookshelf tour. I don't know how to start this, so I'm just going to start it right now. But before I start it, I don't know what I just did, but before I start it, I just want to apologize because I have a very shaky hand. I don't know why I just shook the camera. <laughs> and it's uh, pretty stormy outside, so don't mind any of the background noise that may sound like rain or snow. So, anyway, let's get started. This is my first shelf. First off, we have 2001 A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke, which honestly, you can just read the, you can just watch the movie and be just as pleased. Charles Darwin's The Origin of Species, which is really, I, it's good, but I just can't read it all the way. Barnaby Rudge, Bleak House, Mystery of Edwin Drood, and Nicholas Nickleby, all by... Charles Dickens, who's amazing, but sadly I haven't read any of these. I've read other Dickens books that are on other shelves, but not these. But these look great. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl, which is fantastic. Or fantastic for a children's book. Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book, which is phenomenal. Everybody knows Neil Gaiman is great. Robert A. Henlein's Starship Troopers, which is a book I'll probably never read. The Works of Victor Hugo, which is pretty much just Hunchback of Notre Dame with some of his poetry. And Victor Hugo's most famous book, Les Miserables, which I know I need to read it so badly, I'm just so excited for it. Winnie the Pooh and the House at Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne, which we have a more Milne behind here which consists of his poetry books. These are surprisingly Easton Press copies, but they're just for children, so they don't they make them too fancy. And lastly, on the first shelf, we have The Monotomous Twins by this name, which I really don't want to pronounce, but I don't want to pronounce it anyway because this is an awful play. So, this is my second shelf, which extends all the way back there. The Practical Stylist by Sheridan Baker, which is like the Bible of all writing. And then we have my favorite playwright of all time, Samuel Beckett. We have Endgame. Malone Dies, which is not really a play, but it's a novel, but it's by Samuel Beckett. And Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, which is my favorite play of all time. Normally, I keep, I'm keep i keeping the space because normally there's a copy of Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury here, but it's uh, we're studying it at school, so I don't have it with me at the moment. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which is a fantastic novel. Can't recommend that enough. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, which is an awful novel. <laughs> uh, fantastic, awful. Robert Cormier's The Chocolate War, which is fantastic. I cannot even... I, I think I went into this book thinking it was going to suck, but it actually turned out to be really well done. Dante's The Divine Comedy, which is amazing, uh, or at least Inferno and Purgatorio are amazing. Paradisios can just go away. Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. The Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Those are some Dickens I've read. I still need to finish uh, The Pickwick Papers. And I have read all of A Tale of Two Cities. And he's just great. That, what else do I have to say? Your Feedies Plays, which I think I pronounced that name wrong, but I don't care, really. John Gardner's Grendel, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Read this in a day. The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy, which I really wanted to love Thomas Hardy, but he is one of the most boring authors I have ever read in my life. Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, which is a fantastic book. Can't recommend that enough. My translation of Beowulf, which is translated by Seamus Haney, which is my favorite epic play of all time. But it sadly has to sit next to this horrendous novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls, by Ernest Hemingway. Buy me all you want, I cannot stand Ernest Hemingway. And behind here, it is very dark, so I apologize. I'll try to get it in as much light as possible, but 
This is the behind section of the first shelf, of the second shelf, sorry. The Odyssey by Homer. Rhinoceros by Eugene Ionesco. Franz Kafka's The Trial, which I need to read, but the problem is I've read a Metamorphosis, and I didn't really like that, so I'm not really sure on how I'm going to like this. Moby Dick, which is definitely worth your time. I think it's one of the best novels ever. Well, let me just... Oh, get in! Get in, get in! Ah, uh, hold up. Ah, uh, there we go. Animal Farm and 1984 by George Orwell, which 1984 is probably my favorite novel besides Catcher in the Rye, which we'll get to in a little bit. And Animal Farm is also fantastic. Probably another book I'll never read, uh, Travels by Marco Polo. And then Catcher in the Rye, Nine Stories, Franny and Zoe, and Raise High the Rooping Carpenters, and Seymour and Introduction. All by the absolutely fantastic author, J.D. Sollinger. Brian Selznick's The Hugo, the Invention of Hugo Cabaret, which is a fantastic children's book. The complete, the short novels of John Steinbeck, which, Steinbeck, sorry, which include Tortilla Flat, The Moon is Down, The Red Pony, Of Mice and Men, Cannery Row, and The Pearl, which I've only read Of Mice and Men, Cannery Row, and The Pearl, but Of Mice and Men is one of my favorite books ever. Uh, Cannery Row is very good, and uh, The Pearl is very good, so that's good. Then when finally we have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which is phenomenal. We have The Hobbit, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, all by the fantastic J.R.R. Tolkien. And then we have probably my favorite author of all time, Kurt Vonnegut. We have Slaughterhouse Five, when this nice hardcover edition, which is meant to look like the first edition. Player Piano, Sirens of Titan, Mother Night, Cat's Cradle, which is my favorite Vonnegut novel and just easily my top ten favorite books ever. Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut. And that's all for my Vonnegut. I do need to get more Vonnegut because there's all oh, loads of other books by him that I want. And finally, The Picture of Dorian Gray, which is an amazing book. Can't recommend hit that book and Oscar Wilde enough. And finally, for the tour, we have My Last Shelf. We have The More Than Complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, which is not the complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This only collects the four out of the five. And honestly... It's really good, but I don't know. I just haven't finished it. Like, I'm about halfway through book two, but it, it's it's really good. I cannot pronounce this name. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you want me to pronounce this name, on how to pronounce this name. But it's four Greek comedies, which is really good. One of my pride and joys of my collection, Charles Dickens' Great Expectations in the Easton Press Leatherbound Edition, which is one of the greatest novels ever written and is easily, easily my favorite Dickens novel. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, another one of the best novels ever written. The Short Stories of F. Scott Fitzgerald, which is amazing. The Complete Short Stories of Ernest Hemingway, because I own two books from an author that I absolutely can't stand. And another author that I absolutely can't stand, James Joyce's Ulysses, Fight Me. I, I don't want to read this because I just don't like James Joyce. Saddle of the Pale Horse, which is a historical fiction novel about the invasion of Missouri, which is really... I, I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to read it. The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, who is honestly a person I really want to get into, but all the plays I've read from him so far have been awful. But I haven't read a, his best best yet. Like, I haven't read Hamlet, Macbeth, and Midsummer Night's Dream. So, really excited to get into more Shakespeare. And finally... Bram Stoker's Dracula, which I'm saving for next Halloween. So that is my bookshelf, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I, it'd be really cool if you liked and subscribed, but I don't really want to pander, like, hey, like and subscribe now, but it would be nice. So, anyway, that's it for me. I'm Mega Man Chief Fan, and I'll see you later, guys.